Good evening, people. Long time no see. Uh, been a few months since I made my last review, so, you know, I made a poll a few weeks ago regarding, you know, what review would people like to see and what the next product that I'll be reviewing is. And today I have something that, you know, it's been around for a few months now and it doesn't seem like anybody wanted to speak on it. So today I'll speak on it. Today we are reviewing the Kalud Lotus 3. Now, I've been using it for, like I said, about better part of three to four months now. I've tried it with many different bowls, many different pack methods, many different brands of tobacco, Russians, Americans, dark, blonde, whatever the case may be. So, you know, I think um, we'll go kind of in depth as to what the Kalud Lotus, Lotus 3 provides. This is the um, aluminum edition, aluminum black. So, you know, basic edition that, you know, that... It's been out in the market for a while now. Uh, no stainless steel. I don't think I'll try stainless steel. So this is just a review on the aluminum Lotus 3. So let's get started. All right. So in front of me right now, you know, I have the bottom part. This is where your coal sits. You know, real nice design. As you'll see, there's some dirt specks that are that get stuck around. Now you can just, you know, simply apply water to get rid of it and wipe it down. Um, I don't need to do that just because it doesn't really affect my session in any ways. Occasionally, I'll just you know put it in water and let it dry out. This is the back of it. Again, three months I've used it, and as you can see, relatively little wear and tear. It's not as crazy as you know the One Plus, where you you would have to scrub it a few times with a metal brush. I've never scrubbed this once yet. I just you know knock off the burnt tobacco, give it a little wash down with water, and use it the next time top part as you can see lotus 2 design similar except you know now we have a handle which i don't know why it was never there to begin with but uh as you can see the insides rotate you can have a uh, double rows of holes open you can have the you know the middle part closed and the outside open you can have all different sorts of variations this one closed that one open this one open uh you know this one closed that one open and very all kinds of different ways really all you have to do is just twist it. If you have it on the Lotus, it's relatively easy to twist to see. I'm not really putting much effort. And the same kind of functionality applies when you have it on top of the hookah itself. It just spins very easily. I found myself, you know, when I smoke out of the Lotus 3, I never really lift the top part open. I never have the need to. I can just, you know, move this around to make sure, you know, do I want the bowl to get hotter do I want it to get cooler whatever the case may be and so you know now that we have the basic general aspect of the lotus out of the way I'm going to show you my favorite personal way of smoking it um, in front of me I have a thick bowl I've packed a cucumber lemonade mix with um, you know element air uh, coconut must have and morose and so you know relatively normal style pack nothing too fancy nothing crazy and um, I finally I find it personally that this is my favorite bowl to smoke using a Lotus um, 3 just because it fits perfectly thick bowl is something that can handle a lot of heat I usually go you know see it just sits there relatively easily and uh, you know I like to use this with three coals I don't if, I, if I'm smoking two colds, I'll use a Lotus One Plus. I find that this one can handle three colds really well, especially with a thick bowl. And, uh, yeah, why don't we just get into it and show you how does the thick bowl smoke with the Lotus 3. And, you know, is it heat friendly? Is it something you need to constantly maneuver? Or can you just kind of let it be on its own for a while? So, yeah, let's get to the smoking Talk about portion. how it performs and what kind of cloud output you can expect. So as I said earlier, I like to use it with three coals. I have it on the thick bowl right now, smoking cucumber lemonade with must-have cucanade and a little bit of morose. I like to pair my drinks with this. I'm drinking some cucumber lemonade right here to mix it with, you know, the flavor pairing that I have in the bowl. So I've had this sitting for about five minutes now with three coals. So let's see. Pretty decent, you know, similar clouds that I get with, uh, you know, a Lotus One Plus with two coals. So, but you know, again, this is a different setup, different bowls, different HMDs, 
different pack methods as well. I find that when you're using a Lotus 3, a slight underpack can take you a long way. You know, you don't really want the flavor to touch the top of this because again, there's no nubs on the bottom to kind of sit into the tobacco. It's a relatively flat bottom with kind of like a star shape there. So it helps to not have a touch. Let's smoke a little more and, you know, show some more performance of what the Lotus 3 can do for you. So as you can see, this is performs well. Again, price point for this is relatively close to a hundred bucks. So, you know, am I gonna say this is a better investment than a Lotus One Plus? It's not. Lotus One Plus is still a lot more versatile. It's a lot more user friendly. Lotus 3 on the other hand though, it looks beautiful. It's a great piece to put on, you know, a nice bowl that you have. You know, you wanna take pictures, videos of your pipes. It's a great aesthetic looking, aesthetically pleasing. So the last piece got cut up, but yeah, as we were saying, you know, it's a great looking piece, but again, price point is at close to a hundred bucks. Uh, you know, you, you might not want to spend that on a HMD, but if you do, Lotus 3 is a good option. It's, it's not bad. Unlike the Lotus 2, which was absolutely, you know, a travesty, Lotus 3 is actually a good enough purchase. I would, you know, if you have the money for it, go for it. It looks really nice smokes well it does not smoke bad at all you could use it on other you know hmd friendly bolts as well i just personally like it on the thick but yeah you know thanks for watching the video that's pretty much you know you can't really do too long of a review on a hmd but yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on the lotus 3 performs well looks great expensive so you know take that as you will and if you if you like purchasing it, I believe almost all the sites in the USA carries it. I'm not sure where you could get it in Europe, but you know, almost all the sites in USA has Kalud Lotus 3s for um, on sale. Again, this is an aluminum version. This is not the stainless steel version, so you know, I don't know how the stainless steel performs. But once again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the review.